Hello all and welcome to Well Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we will be making this gorgeous little tissue box cover. Gorgeous! I know right? Too gorgeous! <laughs> and what we'll be using today is our, first of all we'll start with the yarn. We're using the Fiddlesticks yarn. It is an 8 ply 100% cotton um, which I did buy from Unwind Craft Cafe here in um, Kilo East. Now it calls for, over here let's have a look see, it calls for a 4mm hook or a 4.5 so you can use either one but to be honest with you I did use the 4 and I found that the 4 with this particular cotton can come across quite loose anyway. So there you go, all right? So you're better off using the four millimeter hook, which I've used. If your yarn is a lot thicker and calls for a four and a half or a five, you may need to adjust the stitches to suit. Otherwise, stick with a four millimeter hook and an eight ply cotton. Um, and then you will need obviously your scissors, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> your scissors and your sewing darning needle. You will need that darning needle because we have used different colors here and we need to weave in those ends and shh, don't tell anyone i haven't weaved them in yet shh, don't say anything to anyone <laughs> so guys what we have here i'll just move all this out of the way for you what we have here is one gorgeous little tissue box cover i like 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 love 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 now in the um actual tutorial i also mentioned that there are Two different size of tissue boxes just to annoy us a little bit. Yes, check that out. <laughs> the first time I made the tissue box cover was with this one here. I've only taken it off the tissue box so that we can use, um, you know, the box for this. I made it and I couldn't work out why. When I started making it the first time and I finished it, I went out and bought a whole new tissue box because, you know, we ran out of tissues, as you do. And I bought it home and thought, oh, I think my tissue box cover shrunk and then I went wait a minute how can it shrink I didn't even wash it <laughs> so within this particular tutorial I tell you how to make yours a little bit longer if you are wanting to make it for the larger tissue box cover okay you just need to add two more rows before you do your final row of half doubles there you need to add two more rows of your normal cluster set all right so there you have it guys i'm not going to talk anymore because you know the tutorial is rather long and i'm a bit of a chatterbox <laughs> i could talk forever but in the meantime we're just going to get started with our gorgeous little tissue box cover i love 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 and look at those colors how bright are they i'm glad i decided to go spring summer colors anyway guys good luck with your tissue box cover Alrighty guys, let's pop everything out of the way. For this tutorial, you'll need to know how to do your single crochet foundation row. I will pop a link to that in the description box down below. Have a bit of a practice and come back to us. It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get it. I know you will. <laughs> um, if not, have a practice with us now. I'll try and go as slow as I can anyway. You'll need to know how to do chain stitch, slip stitch and double crochet. It's really rather basic oddly enough even though that first row can be a little bit weird but I'm sure you'll get it I'm sure you'll get it okay so what we're going to do firstly is also you need to know to do a slip knot <laughs> which is very basic <laughs> grab your tail end wrap it around your finger once wrap it around your finger twice hold it there grab your working end halfway over hold it there grab your other end all the way over grab your hook and pull up a loop easy 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 all right so we are going to do the single crochet foundation row a lot of people are frightened of this don't be it's rather basic okay so it's chain one and pull a loop through chain one pull a loop through on your second one that's it so far now your first chain you just pop your hook through the chain grab a loop Pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull through the second loop on your hook. Don't do these chains too tight, um, these stitches too tight, or you won't be able to do this, all right? Turn it to your side, right there. And on your side, you will see um, like a V look again, like we usually find on most of our work. 
All right, just let go of your thread there. The first stitch is always the hardest because you've got that little knot there. So just see if you can grab two of those threads right there. See those two threads? Pop your hook through it like so. Okay, the hook is through the two threads. Grab a loop, pull up a loop, yarn of a hook, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn of a hook, pull through the, the two loops on your hook. I was going to say second loop then. Turn your work to the side. You can see that V a lot better now, can't you? So grab your hook, pop it through the first loop and that second loop of the V, making sure there's a little tiny loop down there. So grab the loop, pull it up, yarn over hook, pull through the first loop, yarn over hook, pull through both loops. We're going to do it again. So that's already three. You've done three so far. Okay, turn it to your side. See that V looking thing through the first loop and then through that second loop on the V. Yes, pull a loop through. Yes, yarn over hook, pull through the first loop, yarn over hook, pull through both loops. Okay, you don't want to do it too loose either. I'm finding this one right here is a little bit too loose. I'm not going to worry about it though, it's just one. So now you pop your hook through your two loops again, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through the first one, yarn over hook, pull through both loops on your hook. Turn to the side, grab your two loops, and you just keep going and going and going. So what I want you to do now probably your best bid is to pause this video now because it's a little bit tricky to stitch if you're not sure how to do it and head off on your own you need to do 36 all together of these okay and I'm going to help you count them together when we get to the end so just keep going and I shall meet you up after we've done 36 okay all right I'll meet you up after we've done the 36. Alrighty, here we are at the end of the row. And as so small, I don't think it's very big, but that's okay. We're not going to worry too much about it. We just need a tiny little space for our um, tissue box opening. Just wanted to show you quickly, nice and closely, so you can see the actual stitches. And there you go. So the actual stitches there are like, they're like V's. It's like any other row. This one's a very loose. I've done it very loosely. Here we go. This one's quite tight. All right. So they're like V's. See the little V's? And these are your actually stitches. So when you count them, you are counting one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And make sure you have 36 of these. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, lay your little circle flat. Because now we're going to slip stitch to join and we don't want to slip stitch it wrong. Okay, there we go. Grab both pieces. Let's see if I can get a bit of a close up for you. There we go. You're grabbing both pieces and see that very first. One more time, another, another close up for you. All right, see that very first stitch you see right there? You're going through both the loops. Okay, now you're grabbing your little tail end. You're working in sorry your tail end is still dangling down there all right you are going to pull your loop through there just tighten everything up because you don't want it too loose and just slip stitch it through all right so that's what you should have so far okay so what you're going to do is chain one give it a nice tight tug and then you're going to chain two and three at the end of the row, when we are finished, we are going to weave that end onto the bottom of that side, okay? But for now, we're not going to worry too much about it. All right, you've chained up your three. We're now going to put double crochets in that same space, okay? So double crochet is yarn over hook, pop it in the space, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through two, yarn over hook, pull through the last two. Then you're going to do another one in that space, Yarn over hook, pop it in your space. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through two. Yarn over hook, pull through the last two. And what you have is three chains and two double crochets. The chains here will act as a double crochet. So you actually initially have three double crochets, okay? Now you're chaining three. One, two, and three. 
and now we're putting another three double crochets in that space a yarn over hook and go for it easy so far these are the basic stitches in crochet all right so you shouldn't have too many problems with them so now you're going to chain three yet again one two three i'm going to bring this out a bit because i'm coming out of frame all right so now we're going to put three double crochets in that space yet again so you should have three double crochets chain three three double crochets chain three and three double crochets all in that same space easy easy all right so you've got one two and three on every third stitch you are going to put a cluster of three double crochets so you go one two and in this stitch right here you're going to put three double crochets one two three okay one two and pop three double crochets in your next one two and three what we're going to do here is we're going to use the green for two rows and then we're going to change to the white if you don't want to change you don't have to and i'll show you what to do if you're not going to change colors okay all right so now one two and three we're going to pop three double crochets in there one two three And then we go one two and three and we're popping three double crochets in there super easy i know i say that about everything don't i i'm <laughs> sorry guys okay so we've got one two three four we need one more cluster set so yarn over hook skip one two and pop three double crochets in there one two and three and what we're going to do now is we're going to perform a corner in our next set all right so we are skipping one two and jumping into that third one with three double crochets okay chain three one two three and then three double crochets in the same space two three chain three again one two three and then we're putting three double crochets in the same space easy so far very easy okay now we are actually on the other side of our set see how they have all matched up it's nice and neat and that's what you're going to do across here so you're going to do another five clusters across here we're going to do it together for this round okay skip one two and pop your cluster set in that third space one two and three so whenever you hear me say cluster set you know it means three double crochets so you go one two and three with your cluster set one two three skip one two and pop your cluster set in that third one one two and three i really did do these stitches loose didn't i <laughs> it's probably not good to do them so loose all right skip one two and pop another cluster set in that next one two and three and then you're going to have one more cluster set before we join so one two and three and that's your last cluster set one two three all right now let me show you where we are at this is where we are at all right oops sorry now we're in frame okay oh it's looking so cute 
why do I say that about everything? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so remember our, oh, it's too far away. Let's get a nice little close up. Remember our three chains right there, one, two, and three that we first started with? You need to slip stitch to join. So you got to find those three chains, get to the very top tight stitch like I have, make sure there's two loops on your hook there, pull a loop through, and pull it through the loop on your hook all right so what you have done is you've just joined your piece together so that is the start of your um, tissue box cover you've got your little space for your tissues to come through if you wanted to make your space bigger you could just remember the bigger it is the harder it is to make the match of the box okay so try and stick to the same adjustments as the same hook size as your yarn and the same measurements as this okay I've done it once before and in fact this one here I did so you can see what I mean oh let's go like that I did that really really loose and really big and I find that annoying if you look carefully at this one here it's the same as that but because it's a little tighter see that you're about two or, or three maybe about a centimeter and a half off all right so even if it pulls a little bit too much it still won't make it up to there if you know what i mean see that space right there that's the whole space okay oh i'm nearly pulling my thread out i better not do that okay now this one's going to look better than this firstly because i'm doing it nice and tight with the right size book but secondly because we're using gorgeously bright colors but in the meantime just for this stage here we're going to keep this color for the next round all right so what i would like for you to do and this is what you will do in every round if you don't change your colors okay when we change our colors it'll be different but in this round this is what you will do now you've got these two double crochets right here you've put your slip stitch into that chain but you need to slip stitch into that second stitch now that's actually a stitch there it's a bit tight but it's a stitch so you slip stitch across which means pulling a loop through there and then there slip stitch into your next stitch like that there now slip stitch directly into your corner and guess what you're going to do chain up three one two three and do your two double crochets in there because we are now doing that corner again like we did in the previous round chain three one two and three and then you do your three double crochets one two and three okay that is the corner this is the way we're going to complete every corner until we get to the sides of the box now in this row we are chaining between each cluster set so chain one and then you put your three two three in that corner that's three double crochets one two and three i'm sorry did i say three two three i meant three 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 because <laughs> in this pattern it's not two chains i usually put two chains in uh, um, granny stitch patterns but in this pattern it's a three chain in the corner so one two and three i apologize for that sorry guys it's automatic <laughs> it's automatic <laughs> okay now we're doing three double crochets you can't help yourself when you get used to one thing and then all of a sudden it changes just to annoy you a little bit <laughs> you know okay so there you go now we are chaining one and we are jumping into every space you see with a cluster set so there's one set in there so three double crochets in the first space you come to chain one and then three double crochets in your next space now remembering we didn't chain in the previous round but we are chaining in this round okay chain one and then you do your three double crochets in your next space this is far too easy all right far too easy and this I, chain one i actually love granny stitch with your three double crochets chain one that kind of thing 
I love doing them. I love doing them in squares. I love doing them in tissue box covers, chain one. I love doing them in anything that I can do them in. Okay, I've even done full granny square top out of um, the granny stitch. I really, really love it. Chain one, jump into your next space. There's a space before your corner. We want to make sure we pop that in. Okay, two and three. Chain one. Now jumping into your corner and we're doing our three, three, three. Three double crochets, one, two, and three. Chain one, two, and three. And three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're in that corner section. So we actually need to chain one to jump into our next corner. All right. So we're going to do in that next corner, three, three, three. One, two, three, double crochets. Chain three, one, two, and three. And then your three double crochets. Love, love, loving it already. Now, the next round when we get to that corner at the end, we're going to be changing colours, but not yet. So chain one, do all of your cluster sets along here. One, two, three, four, five, six cluster sets, and I will meet you up. Now that's three, 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 six times, making sure you're chaining in between cluster sets, okay? Go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you up. All right, so here we are at the end of the row. What you should have done when I left you was three double crochets, chain one, three, chain one, three, chain one, three, chain one, three, chain one, three. Whoops, I just pulled that undone by accident. Let's do that last one. Okay, and then we do chain one. Easy. Now we are going to slip stitch over to that top of that chain. Remember that top chain? Let's get a nice close up for your top chain right there. Yeah. We're just going to slip stitch through there like so. Now, if you wanted to continue, you do the slip stitching across to get into that center like we did before. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull up a loop. Before you cut your thread, check your measurements on your box. I'll show you that in a minute. But yours truly is going to cut the thread. Okay? Because once you cut that thread, you can't, you can't really fix it. <laughs> grab your tissue box cover. I mean, grab your tissue box. Pop your little cover piece on there. And if you're happy with the actual width and the way that is, then you can continue. If you're not happy, then you need to do something about it. Change your piece or make it smaller or make it bigger. Take it all undone. But mine's perfect. I get the tissue easy through and it's perfect. Okay. Pop that box over there and there you go. So now yours truly, because I'm happy with it. Um, before I start, what I'm going to do, remember that little stitch down here that I said we need to join. I'm a bit worried that it's going to make our work loose. So I am going to join it now and I would like for you to do it too so we can do it all together and that way it's done and we don't have to worry about it anymore. In natural fact, we won't have to worry about the thread anymore. <laughs> all right, so what we've got here and the way we joined it before was we joined it through the top stitch but we never joined it through the base. So what you actually have to do is close that up together. Not just weaving it in, you've got to close it together. So all you need to do is grab your stitch. This you got to turn it to the back. That's your front where it looks nice and neat. And see your thread, you'll know because your thread's sitting at the back anyway. Okay, and that's your back where it's sort of all bubbly and in actual fact, that's another way of telling where you look at your work, you can see those V's facing you. If you're looking at it this way and the V's are going backwards, that's the wrong way. And that's the way where we want to be. Okay, I'm going to show you what to do right now so that it's separated it's supposed to be together we want to set we want to sew them together so we're just going to find a little stitch right there 
Oh, that's not a very good view, is it? Sorry, guys. How's that? That's much better. All right, so we find a stitch there. And we pop, don't split the yarn with this one because it's going to go through the whole stitch, okay? And what I want you to do is pop it through very gently, not pulling it too tight, all right? Like that. It's as though it's a stitch like that, all right? So if you pull it too tight, it's going to make it tug and you don't want that, okay? Then you go through the stitch the opposite direction. You came from that direction, you went into there. Now you're going to go through the direction, through the opposite direction, sorry, the other way. Very gently pulling it through, not tight, because we want to make that look like closed, like that one there. Okay. All right. Then, I don't know where we are now. There. <laughs> there we are. You just go up and down like so through the stitch this is the weaving part okay not pulling too tight but not leaving it too loose either kind of have to it's almost like you're crocheting with your own tension and you kind of have to leave a really good tension okay so if i left that loose it'll be sticking out if i pull it too tight it'll um squish together by gently touching it like that, tugging it like that, has put it in place and left it there. Guess what? We're going to go through another way because yours truly is a little bit of a stickler, as you, my regulars, would know, <laughs> newbies. You're about to find out that yours truly does not like leaving um, ends lying around. I really, really, really like them weaved in. Making sure you're not seeing the needle through there. It doesn't matter through this side because that's where we're going through now but not through your work, okay? All right, and we're going to cut it there anyway, so that's a bonus. You pull it through, you sew it through two to three times, okay? Now we are going to change colours, yay! So now if, if oh, it's too close, sorry guys. If you guys know me well, um, you know I don't like to start in the same corner as an end, so I'm just going to pop my work in another corner right there Ta -da! <laughs> or um i could pop it there but i'm going to pop it here because i want you to see me go over that tail end okay if you are not changing colors just start doing your three double crochets chain three and three double crochets there if you are changing colors join me right here in this corner there we are passing our tail end over, grabbing our working end, and then we are chaining up three. One, two, and three. And we are putting two double crochets in that center. One, two. And then we are chaining three. One, two, three. And notice I'm working over that tail end, okay? And we are putting another three double crochets in there two and three now you're chaining one pass your tail end at the back now and you are popping into that first space with your normal cluster one two and three chain one all right, so what I want you to do, pop your three double crochets, chain one all the way across until you get to the space before our knot, and I will meet you up. We've got to the end of this side, okay? We are doing, oh, too far away, sorry guys. There's your, your three double crochets. We're chaining one, and we're going to put three double crochets in that space, but I'm going to show you how to hold on to that tail end. You are going to double crochet your first double crochet over that tail end so you pop your double crochet in there and you do your double crochet over your tail end one and now you're going to do your normal two and your three now that's not the end of that tail end you need to weave that in later as well okay but for now we just crocheted over it now we are chaining one and then we are doing three double crochets in that corner space right there very big space that we have chain one and two and three 
and you're doing your normal three double crochets. One, two, three. Now this is where it gets a little bit different on, on in the middle bits. You're chaining one. You're no longer just jumping straight into that corner. You've got to get into that middle stitch and do three double crochets. Super easy, yeah? One, two, three. Okay, chain one, jump straight into that corner there with your three, three, three. One, two, and three. Chain one, two, three. One, two, and three. Chain one. Now pop into your next space with your cluster set, which is three double crochets and then chain one. And that's what you need to do. You need to do three double crochets, chain one all the way along till you get to your corner and wait for me there. Okay. All right. So here we are at the end of this row right here, almost at the end. Okay, so if you haven't done your double cluster set here, that's three double crochets, chain three and three double crochets, then do that right now. And before you pop into your next space, like you did with the other side, right, you're going to do the usual chaining one and then do three double crochets in the center there. One, two, and three. All right. We're chaining one again and then we are slip stitching to the top of that third chain that we did in the previous row okay once we slip stitch through if you wanted to keep the white you could slip stitch across and pop yourself into that corner space i don't want to keep the white i am changing colors yet again I know I'm a bit of a stickler for um, weaving in ends, aren't I? <laughs> and I? But I still like to weave in a gazillion ends at the end of my projects because I love, you know what it is? I love colour and I, I don't see why we can't have a lot of colour in our work, really. Like we're going to weave in the ends anyway, so why not have some beautiful colour? I'm going to start with the orange. Well, not start with, that's my next colour I meant to say. <laughs> my next colour is orange, okay? And let's have a look see. Remember where I started before? There's your green, there's your white. So I'm going to start over here because I can. You don't have to, but I want to. Okay? Now, best part about this, guys, is you are repeating your rows now. And you'll need to repeat this orange row you see right here. You'll need to do two of these orange rows. Okay? So here's the first one. Chain one. Okay? two and three let's give that little tail a tug i'm not with that a little bit loose okay so now i'm going to crochet over that tail as well two and three well actually it's two with the chains making it three okay so we are going to chain three one two and three i'm hoping you can see that the lighting is a little bit bad at this stage Okay, and now we are going to put another three double crochets on top of that tail that we're working on. One, two, and three. All right. And guess what? We're going to chain one, pop your tail end at the back again. And yes, you're going to do a cluster in your next set. A cluster of three double crochets chain one whoops that's not a three double crochet that's only two I'm a duffer I'm a duffer so three double cro let's try that again three double crochet chain one three double crochets this is going to be gorgeous I love color don't you just love it I know right let's pull up that loop don't forget to do your chain there, by the way. I just didn't do it. I'm going to show you what we're going to do now. All right. What I want you to do, 
just do your three double crochets chain one until you get to this base right here and meet me there okay all right you should have gotten to this stitch right here or a space right there okay we're going to make that nice and close for you now you would have done your last three double crochets and now you need to do chain one you're going to pop your normal double cluster set in there which is a three 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 double crochets chain three one two and three and three double crochets one two and three okay chain one now you've got your two spaces to jump into so you're going to put a normal cluster set in there of three double crochets one two three all right chain one now this is where I like to hold my thread at the back again and work over it you don't need to that's just easier for me later so I've worked over that thread one two and three chain one now do your corners Jump into your next space with just your plain three double crochets. One, two, and three, chain one. All right. So what I would like to do while we're still here with our, oops, our main colours, I would like for you to grab your tissue box. Okay, pop your little tissue in there. I'm wrecking this tissue, I can tell you that much. <laughs> okay, now that obviously is not big enough i did cater for five rounds anyway and we've only done one two three four so that's a bit of a bonus okay so you're going to need to finish off this round okay let me take those tissues out again i'm slowly wrecking these tissues okay so you're going to need to finish this round slip stitch it into the top of that chain right there then slip stitch across because we're going to keep the orange if you want to change color you can change color so slip stitch across, pop in here, do your three, 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 and then do your main stitches all the way around. Now this round here, you're going to need one, two, three clusters in there. So first we had no clusters, then we had one cluster, now we've got two. Your next round will be one, two, and three clusters, okay? Cluster is just one of these, three double crochets, chain one, all right? So continue this, oh, sorry guys, continue this round, slip stitch to join, slip stitch to the corner, and then do a second round. Meet me back here at the end of the round and I'll show you what to do next. Alrighty, if you uh, did your rows right, you should have two rows of your orange complete. If not, go ahead and finish that second row. Um, and all together you should have one, where is it? One, two, three, four, five rows complete. Now, really important this part, okay? The five rows should be complete before we continue. So we're chaining one and we are slip stitching to the top of that chain and yours truly is going to change colours again. If you want to keep your, your orange, you can, but I'm going to change colours again. If you want to keep your orange, just slip stitch to that corner right there, all right? But yours truly is changing colours. Okay, and I will probably use that a little bit later. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to grab a little tissue box because I think we've done our final row of the top part of the box. All right, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. It's starting to, the sun's starting to come down again and that happens with the lighting. All right, there you go. This is where the pattern changes and this is where you can actually head off on your own and continue this until the end of the rows until the very very end of the rows where we can do a final row and then come back but in the meantime i'm going to show you what you do next it's very very simple this bit i love this bit i love 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 all right so what are we going to do whether you want to or not we're going to start 
on another corner it doesn't matter for me but anywhere you like pop your little hook in you are going to change back to your green or if you have another color you'd like to put in then pop your other color in I'm changing back to my green okay all right grab your little tail end pass it over if that's what you like doing all right here we go chaining up one two and three it's in this corner normally we would put three 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 we're not going to do that anymore you're just going to chain up three and pop in two double crochets that's it all right too easy so far even easier when I tell you what we're going to do next no more chaining when we jump into our next space all we're going to do is jump into our next space one two and three no more chaining we are just jumping into our next space one two and three same with the next jumping into the next space so this part here all you're doing is jumping into every space you come to with your three double crochets from there and into your next space I almost did a half double then didn't I <laughs> with the three double crochets next space with your three double crochets okay and so on so what I want you to do is do three double crochets in every space you come to get to this section here and meet me up and I'll tell you what we're going to do next alrighty guys what you should have is this you should have it pointing up you should have it pulling and tugging and everything and that is normal because now oh actually I'll grab your tissue box cover again now you're going to find that it's all going to start to fall into place this is where it starts closing up around the corner see it's getting nice and tight there okay a little bit tight on that side this one's still loose because we haven't closed it up okay but we will so that's what you're going to find now over the next few rows what I would like for you to do now is firstly we're going to um, oh, I haven't finished off my double crochet there that's unusual there you go <laughs> sorry about that I thought I had all right so you've got your three double crochets in your last space all you need to do is slip stitch over to the top of that nice tight chain that I have <laughs> I'm doing well with these tight chains really I am so you pull the loop through and you pull it through now we are using the green again so we're going to slip stitch over through the first double crochet and it doesn't matter if it's pulling that is normal slip stitch to your third double crochet and then slip stitch straight into your space right there and then chaining up one two and three and doing a cluster set in there so we're doing another row of the green and all we're doing is three double crochets in each space you come to radio one two and three all right what we're going to do I'm going to let you head off on your own all right what I would like for you to do, if you are using the same colour combination as me, finish that green row, do one row green, this one here, do two rows of your orange, one row of your white and one row of your green and meet me back here. By the time you do all that, your work would have really curved and you can probably even have it on your tissue box before we even finalise the last row or the last two rows, all right? Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of that final green row, but it's actually not the final row, it's just the green row that I told you to get up to, okay? So what we're going to do now is, I've got a gazillion ends in there as you can see, <laughs> we have to weave those in guys, sorry, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> they've got to be weaved in. <laughs> Alright, so we are slip stitching to the top of that chain I'm sorry too far away but you know how to do this part you've been doing it all the way around right there 
and as you would normally with before changing colors you would slip stitch to the next space like so chain your three one two and three do your three your two double crochets in there sorry one and two do your next cluster set in your next space because i wanted to show you something before we continue and your next in your next space and then we'll have a quick chat all right so here we go what we have here is our tissue box so that's your basic tissue box size so if you wanted to after this row you could stop however i did forget to mention one thing there are two sizes of tissue boxes <laughs> who knew right <laughs> i got caught out once when i tried to make one of these and it didn't fit and i'm thinking i keep buying boxes and they're not fitting and i don't know why <laughs> because one size is bigger than the other if you have a large box, tissue box okay you need to do <laughs> another two rows oh hang on now i'll tell you in the end what i would like for you to do is to go ahead and finish this final row get to this last cluster set meet me up and i'll tell you what we're going to do next Alrighty guys, here we go. We are now officially at the end of what I would like to call the final row. However, I usually like to do a nice little tiny border row and I'm pretty sure that this particular piece may need it. So let's do this. But before we do the border row, I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. Let's just slip stitch to the top of that top chain right there. Just chain one for a minute, grab your tissue box, because I know for a fact that we'll need to do a border row, okay, because I know it's not exactly the right size. If you pull the tissues through, it kind of will be the right size, you'll have a little tiny bit left. I always do a border row of half double crochets in every stitch along here, and we're going to do that today. But before we do, just in case you have the larger size tissue box cover, I mean tissue box <laughs> when you pop your cover over your larger size it looks like you would need another say two more rows before you do your row of half double now if you do your two more rows and it is still too small um, do a row of double in each instead of half double so for now if you've got the very large box go ahead and do two more rows and then come back and join us for this final row right here now, if you have the smaller box like I do, then you need to just continue on as we are going to do right now. Now, we've already chained up one, okay? Ordinarily, you would have chained up two, but we've got one already, so we're going to chain up another one, okay? Now, in the very next stitch, which is right next to it, there's your chain stitch, that's your next stitch, you're going to do a half double. That's yarn over hook, pop your hook through each stitch the stitches are these v's you see pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook that is a half double and you're going to do that in every v stitch you come across so yarn over hook pop your hook in the v stitch or in the stitch yarn over hook pull up your loop yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook and then you are going to continue all the way across so not only does this give you a finished edge but it also does tighten it up a little bit if you find that yours is far too tight take it undone and just leave it the way it is now you could have actually just slip stitched to join and left it the way it is but i like this extra border row um, because i really think that it's not exactly to the bottom of the box firstly and secondly i think the border row really tightens it up and neatens it all up makes it all look gorgeous okay so go ahead and do oh it was up to you whether you needed to put a um 
stitch marker in there I don't think you, you need to you can actually see that chain anyway so get yourself all the way around to this side right here every stitch until you get to this row and meet me up alrighty guys here we are at the end of the row I'm going to put a half double in that very last stitch there okay now ordinarily I would slip stitch on the top chain of that very second stitch we did there but before we do that being a last stitch I want to close this up so there's no big gap so what we're going to do is pop a half double crochet in the same space as your chains so pop your hook in there like so do your half double crochet and then instead of slip stitching to your chains you're going to slip stitch to that half double crochet the first one that you did after the chains like so so what it's done is it's closed up shop and it's stopped a gap there now we're going to pull a loop through we're not going to cut yet and I'll tell you why when you grab your tissue box and you want to pop it on you want to pop it on and make sure that it fits oh perfect if it's too small like it's a bit like that take that half double undone the whole row of half doubles and pop another row of your cluster sets and then do the half double if it's too big then you may have to take both the half double and your rows undone but this is actually just perfect okay perfect however now before we go on let's grab that very very big tissue box cover the real tissue box cover try tissue box Mary get it right woman <laughs> now as you can see it would have needed another row it probably would have got away with needing oh yeah you probably would have got away with just one more row on that one if you're using the bigger tissue box so that you would need to take this half double row undone and do another row of cluster sets if you had the large tissue box if you had the small one like I did guess what guys it's done <laughs> now I at the beginning of the recording I showed that I hadn't weaved in all my ends but yours truly messed up a row <laughs> I had to come back and finish off separately <laughs> so I ended up weaving in all my ends and then realizing the mistake <laughs> the mistake was um, I messed up the recording itself so there was no recording it seemed to have been just missing this last row was missing so let's pull our loop through let's give our tail a cut there and what we're going to do now just quickly oh actually you can do that off air if you like it's probably better off to do it off air we are going to pop our box under here bring that out again pop your little material on pull out your little tissues Ta -da. <laughs> there you go your tissue box cover is done yay <laughs> and how gorgeous are the colors i mean perfect thank you so much for watching guys um i've really enjoyed making our tissue box cover i hope you have too if um you want to receive further tutorials in your inbox you need to subscribe to the channel and click all so you can receive all of our tutorials in your inbox and that's about it don't forget to like and share and if you wanted to leave a comment in the comment section down below by all means do so and until the next tutorial thank you so much for watching and guess what guys ciao for now